So now we will be discussing about the implementation of the itexmo.com API in a PHP website. So we need to have the steps, following steps for us to um, get the API in the itexmo.com. So first we need to sign up. So we go to the itexmo.com um, website then we will be signing up. So you need your personal email to do it. The next is we need after you're done signing up the email confirmation will be sent to your email then once you um verified it you will now see your dashboard so in your dashboard you will have this following data so you need you will have the dashboard API codes report SMS package billings SMS calculator API docs and tutorial and here so what you will do is you will go to API codes but and get verified now after I verified they will check your account and I think you will be notified if your account is um, accepted so once you verify your data you need your personal ID like your student ID driver's license or any IDs that you have then then you need to provide also your personal details the next is we will be using the PHP code to manage the SMS API for the itexmo.com API so we will see our example here that codes that we have so we need to have first we need to have the API, API URL so this is the API URL for our I think small. Then we need to set the parameters so that these parameters will be replaced later if we have already the API key. The recipient number is the number that will be sent out. Then your message. So you need you will have to put your message also. So we have the three. So first is your API key. So your API key is under review. So once it uh, it is completed, so you will now have your API key, then the recipient number or the one who received the message, then your message. Next is the code to send the API request. So we need to have the options um, declaration or any variable. Then we need to have the array. Then we need to have the header, method, and content. So the content is this three. So the API, the recipient number, and the message. Then we'll do the context stream context create. Then we need to file then get contents of the context. Then lastly, we will check if the API request is successful or not. So once it is um. So in this field, we will you will be um displaying based on your once if you want to display any errors or you display the success message here in this side so maybe that's all for now and we will just need to wait for the API key so as I said you need to verify yourself you need your ID and your um, personal information like your name your address and your personal phone number that you need to verify so that you can use the API of iTexmo.